Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome to Tech Random. In today's video, I'm going to be building an audio visualizer using an Arduino and some addressable LEDs. The theme of this project is I am broke, <laughs> which means I'm going to be building on a budget of zero dollars. This is done by using parts that I'm reusing from past projects or leftover parts that I didn't use on past projects. And I'm also going to be using an Arduino starter kit from Elegoo that they were kind enough to send me. This starter kit can be bought on Amazon for about 20 bucks, really cheap, and it has a lot of stuff in it that'll get you into electronics projects, even if you have no experience. So let's jump right into this project. Here's the plan. If you want to make this project for yourself, you're going to need some thin cut wood. I have this left over from my LED wall project. You can check that out in the card up here. I'm also going to be using the last sheet of acrylic from my LED lamp project. That can also be found in the card right here. I had mentioned in that video that I was going to save this last sheet for a smaller two pane lamp, but I think I'd rather use it for this project here. And I'm going to use these recycled WS2812B LEDs. These are in almost all of my videos. These ones came off of the ceiling at my old place. Uh, if you've seen any of my older videos, you'll know I have LEDs that went all the way around the ceiling. Uh, I scrapped some of these ones when I moved out and hopefully I can put them to some good use. In addition to that, you're also going to need some 3D printed parts, a hot glue gun, some wire and a wire stripper, a soldering iron and solder. From the Arduino basic starter kit, I'm going to be using the Uno R3 board itself. I'm also going to be using a button and some of the breadboard jumper wires and a 330 ohm resistor. In case you don't have all these parts, but you still want to follow along with this project, I'll have links to everything down in the description below. Before we jump into the build, I wanted to try something a little bit different with this video. I wanted to try and do a giveaway. So I'll have the full details for how you can win this project that I'm about to build at the end of this video. But a hint, keep your eyes peeled because there's going to be a secret question involved. So watch this video very carefully or you just might miss it. Let's get started. It is a beautiful day here in Oregon. Step one is gonna be to cut this piece of wood into a one by one square so that it matches our acrylic sheet. Let's get to it. back in I'm gonna sand down the sheet of acrylic uh, this is an optional step of course but if you saw my last video you'll know the difference that sanding the acrylic down will actually make so I'm gonna do it oh. have our wood cut and our acrylic sanded down we're ready to start just putting everything together I've cut my LED strip into eight lengths of eight I'm gonna just start sticking them down and make a grid um, and then solder them together if you want to see a schematic I'll have a link to my instructables page down in the description <laughs> a sec to get the spacing right on this but I think I have it down. Since these are used LED strips I'm going to go over the bottom of each one with some super glue just so they stay nice and stuck. If you're using new strips the adhesive on the back should be enough. I've glued everything down now and I've given it some time to dry and I've washed all the super glue off my fingers. So now it's time to solder everything together. I'm going to start at this end. Uh, these wires that go to the Arduino are going to go at this end here. And then I'm going to solder all the LED strips together, snaking around like this. 
so that the Arduino will just see it as one long strip. So now that all the soldering's done, before I even turn all my stuff off, I want to make sure that everything's working, so I'm going to test it out. Uh, I always like to test it with the color palette sketch from the Fast LED library. Make sure that you're setting your number of LEDs to 64 and your LED pin to whatever pin you have your data plugged into. I plugged mine into pin 2. Looks kind of like three from that angle, but it's pin two. Um, and then in tools, make sure that you're flashing to an Arduino Uno and that your comm is on the right port. And just hit upload. And when it's done, everything should light up. All right, that's pretty cool. That means that we're working and we can get on to the actual programming. My original plan for the code for this project was to have the visualizer, but also include a button so that you could click the button and switch between different modes. I might still add that in the future, but the visualizer took me forever to program. I thought it was gonna be pretty quick and easy. It was not. So for now, that's gonna be our only mode. When you plug it in, it's just gonna turn on to the visualizer and that's gonna be it. Now that I've tested all the wiring and programming to make sure everything works together, I'm going to take my 3D printed spacers and glue them into each corner. These cubes will lift the acrylic away from the LEDs to give it just that extra distance that'll help the LED light be diffused. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom of each one. And then stick it down to the corner. I'm going to do that for all four. Final glue. I'm just going to do one in each corner. And hopefully that should be And there we have it, the visualizer is done and it's on the wall right behind me. Before we fire it up, I just wanna mention that the code is available on my GitHub, link down in the description. As with all my projects, I encourage you guys to try and write your own code, but if you just wanna do the project quick and easy or if you just want a place to start, I always make my code available. Like I said earlier in this video, I'm gonna be trying out a contest. I've never done one of these before, but I'm hopeful that it'll work out well, and if it does, I'll probably do more giveaways in the future. To enter this contest, first you have to be subscribed to the channel, second, leave a comment down below answering the question that was hidden somewhere earlier. If you missed it, go back and watch again. It's a little hard to find, but there's a question written somewhere, somewhere in the video. In a couple weeks, I'm gonna be uploading a video updating my LED wall. If you missed that project, go check it out. It's the most popular one that I've done so far. In that video, I'm gonna pick the comment that I think is the winner, whether it's the best one or the funniest one, I guess we'll find out. But whoever that is, they're gonna win either this visualizer or a second one that I make, depending on how much I like this one on my wall right here, I might decide to keep it. But either way, leave that comment down below and you'll have a chance to win either this visualizer or one just like it. With that said, I'm sure you guys are eager to see how it turned out, so let's go. Perfect.
that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys like this project. Stay tuned because I've got another video coming out in two weeks and I'm going to keep trying to upload every two weeks for the entire rest of the summer. See you guys in the next one. Bye.